The city of Newcastle is looking for a boxing star and they may have found one in Mark Clausel. After turning pro in January 2009, the switch hitting former England international was forced out of the game for over two years with a hand injury. Now back, fully fit and with two recent wins under his belt, Mark is out next on the undercard of the double British title fight bill on December the 10th at the Peter Lee Leisure Centre. Maloney Promotions recently caught up with the Geordie as he warmed down after some hard sparring with Peter Lee bill topper, English like welterweight champion Nigel Wright. Mark Russell, 28, Newcastle at one time, currently 3 0, 1 not out as a pro. First time boxing, I was about 13, 14, uh, because I kickboxed. And it was just something that gave me, I felt, gave me an edge, polished my hands up, you know, polished that side of, of the sport. And I was winning all the time as a kickboxer, so it made it really, really hard to get matched. Therefore, once I turned about 14, I just thought, you know, I'm just going to box, I'm just going to fight. I might as well, it keeps me active rather than having the negativity and then from that time I've never looked back from it. As an amateur, um, I won the novices, uh, ABA final, uh, Box for England, um, won a few like, international tournaments as well. And I was hopeful, hope, hoping to have a box off for the 2008 Olympics, but you know, I didn't materialise, so I turned pro then. Describe your style as a boxer, I mean you're 3 now. Tell us about your style as a boxer, what are your strengths? Um, I can switch it. And to me, it makes absolutely no difference. And people say, oh, yeah, I'm really extra. I'm not. It's just hard work. Hard work and dedication, really, that uh, got me in the work that me and Joe have done. That's allowed me to be able to switch it like that. Um, and I can hit pretty much the same with either hand. And I have got fast hands and all that as well. So uh, I would say that you know, they are probably my biggest strengths. The fact that it doesn't matter which hand I hit you with, I will hurt you if I catch it properly. You've been sparring with Nigel White in preparation for his uh, British title challenge against Ashley Fearfay. And tell us how that sparring's been going. Yeah, it's been going great. Um, started quite a few weeks ago, you know. Went, up, went from six, seven, eight, and was up and doing about ten there this morning. And I feel absolutely fantastic. You're part of the boxing uh, resurgence in the North East. Do you, do you feel like your, your career's taken off just at the right time now? Um, you know, the hand injury happened, and obviously I had the day off. Whether it was for a reason or not, I don't know. I sat back and assessed myself when I did it, you know. Uh, and I've come back in now at a, at a fantastic time, I think, you know. Um, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have stopped if it, if it was up to me. I wouldn't have stopped. But obviously, you know, the injury was something that had to be had to be looked at and had to be done. But yeah, I think it's a fantastic time to come back in now because there is a real surge of northeast fighters now. And I think that big time boxing will be back up here very very soon. Last question: What are your hopes and dreams for the future? Um, within the next 12 to 18 months, uh, I feel that you know, if pro if I progress correctly and I won all my fights, there's no reason why I couldn't have a British title fight myself. Um, and bring them up here, and then I'm just going to look almost from there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sort of saying I am going to be this, I am going to be that, but I'm setting my goals high, and I'm going to achieve as much as I possibly can on the sport.